and help him back to terminate resistance. He was done in the chat room, came in, and he almost brought that a hero. Let's see what the resistance is going to do about it. He enjoyed it. He enjoyed all the action of the G gameplay. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. This is going to go bad, isn't it? I know I'm just looking for stuff to steal. Um, or Sergeant, at ease. Jen? Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something? How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. Ooh, nice car. No, I really like one. No, totally burnt out, but his last song. How's that work? Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. Marachino cherries again. Where do they keep finding this shit? I don't get it. How did they bring that buggy down here? I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. If you see one, let me know, okay? Hey, I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? <laughs> uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? Oops.
I can't remember where anything is. I want to throw stuff on. The face stuff, mic stuff. I'm not going to mic stuff. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Are you alright? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the Resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. How are you doing? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? Yeah, tell me. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> That's funny. I know, right? I have to go. Puppy. <clears throat> Alvin lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. I was ready to see the English report by Steam. I thought you were this, but it's essentially like my boss. Good trips to the owner, ban all of the flappers. I still can't swim on that for response to this. Well, the result of the business will finish the back in the steps. I'm not sure if you're there, I'll leave a straight scene. You can go sign, John Connor. You wanted to see me? You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned, so I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing, but Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, and given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? It's the right thing to do. There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. No. No, it doesn't. 
I'm just warning you. Don't hold your breath waiting for all of this to be over. There will always be another war. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. <laughs> What's the difference? I don't treat them as equals. And although I know they're just machines, I want them to fear me. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. Is there a problem with the radio? The annihilation line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Yes, ma'am. I try to remember. What monster? That's all I want to do. Need anything? Can I see your hardware? Let's do my extra weapons. Let's take a look. So I need to start upgrading. What did you do? Then, stop it in the Size. I would just think. Okay. 
that's a good thing to damage. This can just generate the clip button. Damage launch clip fire. Up damage. Now let's go on the control because we don't get like that. In the meantime, I'm going to want to check on the album. The gun time is not going to show up on the gas. We need a medic over here. I'm telling you, I saw something. What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. Follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Spiders up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. This way. Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter built up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Sky that's not pretty important behind your back. Now there's between a rock and a hard place. All right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way.
this song that I tried to make.
We need to rescue the dock before those tanks reach us! Go get the doctor. Alvin! Oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did! Baron's messengers? We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Ah! Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Ariel! Okay, go! Behind us! Don't look back! Good idea! All that bunch of the team managed to get in the car lost. Don't want this gun, and I'll let you know to push forward. We prepare house for this coming. You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. This seems first. I wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately, I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. Uh, 
truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. But right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Let's hope there still are some. Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You have a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. <coughs> and I don't think he could have chosen better. Mm. Thank you. This plan us. It means a lot. Are you kidding? It's the least I can do for helping us all this time. <coughs> if you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do. Exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. My father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. Knowing your father, it couldn't have been a good joke. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. But I wanted to believe him. I think we all did. He tried very hard to keep everyone from worrying. Maybe a little too hard. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people <coughs> were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. We started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. And with time, it even got to my father. Did it ever get to you? Of course it did. For the first time in my life, there were only the three of us at the house. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door. and started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. <clears throat> I wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. I see that Patrick's doing better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but... It just got to be a bit much, you know? With Patrick hurt, I started to wonder if I'm even doing him any good by sticking around. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't. I've proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. I was thinking that maybe he'd be safer here at the shelter. But don't worry, I changed my mind since. <coughs> Matt. Monster. you need anything? Can I see your hardware? It's, it's silk. Oh. One of them, my lots of words. No, I believe I need to press mark. Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. And thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. 
Hey, are you all right? We just got the news about the attack. They're getting closer, aren't they? Did I follow her orders? Then I'm a bad guy. If I don't follow her orders, then I'm a lousy, incompetent egghead. <laughs> Lay still. Don't move. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't <coughs> find anything. Just think about it, okay? Ooh, okay, what's this? Find the pair. Hmm, but we have the Just in case I pick up one of those. Jacob, what's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Have you tried looking for him? I've looked for him for a while. I went to the place where we said we'd meet if we ever got separated. But he wasn't there. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's... he's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to stay? I'm happy here. Every soldier that I get up and running is my fuck you to Skynet. <laughs> so maybe there's no point in thinking about Peter. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt with Taylor, we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. Something. Just the Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much, but how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right, this is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Now that you mention it... What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. 
He was the one who brought me into the resistance. It's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet game. drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. <laughs> but he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. That huge guy. Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to the scientist? Huh. He was always doing his experiments, trying to outsmart Skynet. One day he fucked up, and because of that he's no longer with us. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. That doesn't mean I didn't have a kill count back then. It just consisted of people. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Hey. Okay. Patrick. Hey kid. Patrick, you're up? There are people who need help more than me. Anyway, I can't talk. I have to bring something important to Aaron. Skills. Three points. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't just don't do me, I will drop. Yes. Bubble. Next time. Monday when wants me to find it. Two more questions to get all the explosive defenses in the airport. Details like this and skin profit will be in fact in the lower Astro Street. Two things. Transmission and sacrifices focus on display. However, two stigma of things are going to appear from their heart. Increasing the single space in the summer and force power to keep it in the main direction. Thank you. Okay, I'm seeing two GPS trackers. Who should be our guide? Except GPS doesn't work that well. Plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good.
I didn't touch that. But. Yeah. I didn't look at this. Let's put that in. Oh, we're back here. Okay. This is another area. I'm not going to kill the rest. Ooh. So, Flamethrower? If I could get close enough to take a picture. Oh, jeez. Better cover, better cover, better cover, better cover.
Please don't carry a man. Yes. There it is. Is that that wrong? I don't think so. needs to be perfect. Classic, classic. And as well as Kevin, but yes, I'm really in the house. No flying over the end. I'm very curious at this guy. He has three rounds. His friends are good.
Rocking my first son. So we're exchanging off the field. This I know you better. I get you now. New steps into the wall thing. Interesting. Are they open? It's gone. Okay. What looks good? Yeah, but it's more kind of Damn. I expect me to run into a lot of...
Okay, let's switch to Latin thing. Since that seems to be the what is it? Nope, that's not a lot. Again. And now uh, it's done. Map. Oh, we got a ceiling. Map at one. Ah, again. the shotgun is more Christian is trying to get on your turret. This has been spotted. Oh well, not think that's the end of the game for today. Thank you for dropping by, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe, and hit the bell button so YouTube can let you know when I've dropped my next video. Until then, have a great day.